And I want to invite the Mayor, Ivan Keatley and Alexander Shackleton to unveil the sculpture, the piece of all the most important. We're here today, Richard, to, I suppose, first of all, celebrate the centenary of um, the rescue of Ernest Shackleton's crew from Elephant Island, um, which obviously happened 100 years ago. As a member of, a, of a, the Atai Municipal District, myself and the other five councillors um, were, were more than happy to support its commissioning um, over a year ago now, and in that year we've been getting regular updates from Mark Richards, the artist, um, who successfully uh, won the uh, commission, um, and it's great that we're here finally today. We're here today because it's the 100th anniversary of Shackleton rescuing his crew from Elephant Island. He had left uh, some crew from the Shackleton or from the Endurance boat on Easter Monday in 1916 and I'm sure some of his crew thought they might never see him again but happily he returned on this day 100 years ago. So I suppose we wanted to capture uh, the centenary date uh, hoping I suppose it would really uh, enhance the story of Shackleton in terms of interest nationally and internationally because there's other events happening around the world to mark this rather epic um, rescue. So I suppose we wanted a bit of that here in Athai. As you can see yourself, the, the fantastic crowd that has um, joined us for the unveiling, I think is testament um, to the importance that Shackleton holds for South Kildare and the Athai area generally. So it's great to be able to celebrate it in the market. There's loads of people who have come up to me um, over the last week alone just to tell me that they never realised that such an important person, such an important explorer who, who really were the astronauts of the day um, and, and, and going to, to where um, people had never gone to before. Um, and and there, is, there is a growing realisation of the importance that, that he held at that particular time and, and the legacy that he's left behind. It's, it's extraordinary to think that the day Ernest Shackleton um, set off on, on, on what was a, a perilous and unprecedented voyage, voyage in order to get to South Georgia and get back to rescue his men. And that very day, um, the 1916 Rising actually started. Mark Richards, and I'm, I'm, I'm a sculptor responsible for the Shackleton statue that's soon to be unveiled today. Well, it started about a year ago. There was the, the, the commission was put out by uh, Kildare County Council on, on EU tender, which means it's, it goes worldwide, essentially. And, um, and I, I, I just thought it, this was just a commission that I just wanted to do so badly. What I really enjoyed about the research was, was, was trying to, I was trying to get into what it would be like for them to do this. And uh, to be down there when, you know, walking around, on, we were accustomed to walking on ground that's nice and level. And imagine if you're just walking on your everyday life and you never know when you're going to get swallowed up by the ice and fall down a crevasse, etc., etc. And I was just, so I've tried to convey that in the, in the, it, it, by having an irregular sloping plinth, that sense of uncertainty of the ground that they were always on and never been on level ground and never having that sense of certainty and really been out of contact for months on end. So I've tried to convey that and I've tried to com and then counterbalance that sense of uncertainty with, I hope, a sense of resolve in the sculpture and a sense of leadership and resolve. And that's mainly was, that's what I was trying, aiming at, that's what came out of the research. The sculpture is so meaningful, it's so important for the community. No, it, it's very nice as well. My name is Alexandra Shackleton, I'm Ernest Shackleton's granddaughter. I'm here because of this wonderful statue of him. There's only one other statue of Ernest Shackleton in the world, the Royal Geographic Society, and I've just helped unveil this one. I think it's wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Well, no, you. Uh, it's absolutely wonderful. It shows his strength and, as I said in my, my speech, his romantic side. Not just brute strength, but also thinking, planning. He's thinking in that sculpture, I think. And I've been working very closely with Lucina Russell. She's really been guiding me through the process and helping me. And, um, and she's just been amazing. And, and, and in her organisational abilities are extraordinary. She's been amazingly sensitive to the artistic side of things. It's been, it's been a really fantastic experience, actually. Whoa! 